There is a big variety of LED lights available, but most of them are flat panels or flexible lights. Today I'd like to show you how I built these curved LED panels, which can be dimmed and the color temperature can be adjusted. As a building guide I used Matt's video from DIY Perks, where he shows how to build a flexible LED panel. He makes very high quality videos with clear instructions and I've been a fan of his channel for a long time. You can find the link to his video in the description below. First I had to decide what radius I wanted the panels to have and cut two wooden chicks with the desired shape. I went for a 0.6 meter radius. I then bent the aluminium backplate to shape. As a light diffuser I used a 3mm thick acrylic glass panel. First I tried to bend it by applying heat with a heat gun, but as I couldn't apply enough heat I had to put it in the oven which I preheated to around 120 degrees. I put it on the bent aluminium plate and the panel took the same shape as it heated up. I then took it out of the oven and let it cool down slowly. I went ahead with cleaning the aluminum panel and putting tape along the edges as an insulator where the LED strips would be soldered together. As mentioned before, the color temperature can be adjusted. I used LED strips with two different color temperatures. 4000 Kelvin on the warm and 6000 Kelvin on the cool end, as I like it to be as close as possible to daylight, which has a color temperature of around 5000 Kelvin. I find this the most pleasant light to work with. 4000 Kelvin is even warm enough to create a cozy atmosphere in the evenings. I cut the LED strips to length at the designated cutting points and marked the positions where the strips needed to be glued to the panel. I glued all strips to the panel alternating between the warm and cool white LED strips. To connect the single strips with each other, I used a 1.5mm electrical cable which I stripped into sections and bent to a convenient shape which would allow me to solder it to the strips easily. I thin coated all ends of the cables as well as the strips. I did this with all the 4000 Kelvin strips on one side and with all the 6000 Kelvin strips on the other side. When it was time to solder the cables to the LED strips, it was important to only connect the strips of the same light temperature together as we needed to be able to control them independently. So I always had to skip one strip and connect all plus and minus ends in series. I did this from the outside to the middle. Where the cables joined, I carefully drilled two holes through the aluminum plate to feed the cables through to the back side. It then was time to prepare the dimming unit, which consisted of two pulse width modulators, one for controlling each color temperature. I made a housing for them using lightweight 3mm foam board which was very easy to cut with a sharp knife. I made all necessary cutouts and holes. Once all pieces were ready, I glued them together with hot glue. When all the electrical connections were made, I cut spacers which would give the acrylic panel the distance needed from the LEDs to diffuse the light. If the acrylic panel was mounted too close to the light source, the single LEDs would still be seen. Of course I also wanted the panel to be as thin as possible. I found that the distance of 18mm was enough to get an even light distribution. The U-profiles I used had the width of 22mm, which was perfect for a snug fit on the panel and to hold everything nicely together. 
I first roughly cut them to length and then cut a 45 degree miter joint on each end using a piece of wood which I had also cut to a 45 degree angle. Finally I sanded the edges to get a nice and clean fit. As the panel was curved I couldn't use the straight profiles on the bottom and the top of the panel and had to find a way to bend them. Because they were too stiff I decided to make thin cuts every 2 cm with a small cutting wheel. This worked out nicely and I was able to bend them to the necessary 600 mm radius. Now it was time to put the acrylic panel on top of the aluminum panel with the LED lights and secure them with the prepared U profiles. The straight side pieces were very easy to simply slide on while the top and bottom edges with the small cuts needed to be put on very carefully. To secure the edges, hold the entire panel together and also cover the small cuts, I used white electrical tape all around the edges which gave the panel a nicely finished look. For the stand I used an aluminum tube with a large enough diameter that I could feed the power cable through to the top. The base of the stand was simply made of a piece of plywood with a cutout to allow for the cable to run through. For connecting the panel to the stand I purchased an articulating arm and glued a hot shoe mount to the back of the LED panel. This allows for easy attachment and removal of the panel to the stand and with the articulating arm the position can be quickly and easily adjusted to a variety of positions. To remotely control the light I plugged it into a sunoff switch which allows the light to be switched on and off via app. This works great and is very convenient. The lights can also be programmed to automatically switch on and off like this. After all I must say that I'm very happy with how these lights turned out and I think that they look very stylish with their subtle curve compared to a regular flat LED panel. The light that they give off is very pleasant as a room light due to the wide light emission angle. Because of their versatility, they can also be used for a wide variety of lighting situations and can also be very conveniently placed without a stand. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.